Hello friends, in this video we are going to see uh, another uh, python flask application um, using some kind of machine learning also. So here uh, um, the project, project is about is animal detection uh, using detecto package um, in python. So detecto is a combined package which is built using tensorflow and pytorch uh, th that is nothing but uh, deep learning kind of libraries to do with. So now get started. So first, first of all, we see uh, we can see how it was built in the documentation. So this is a documentation. First, uh, I have done it for a uh, three animal categories: uh, tiger, elephant, and panda. Uh, due to my system configuration, I can only train this uh, these three set of images uh, animals only. Um, so if your system uh, will enable to do some kind of um, um, deep learning operations you can also add more and more data and uh, classify the animals uh, so first we want to collect a data set uh, image we needed image data set of three animals so here I have from Google I have collected three these images you can see uh, uh, I collected at least uh, 75 images in each uh, to train my model so here is first uh, tiger elephant and panda so next thing we want to um, uh, sorry I have uh, here I have used download all images extension to download the images in bulk from Google here it is and the step two in this process uh, is to um, select the exact area of the image and we want to convert that to an XML file uh, to train the model so that is the thing to do that I have used the label MG software uh, which is nothing but uh, used to detect the exact position of the animal so here you can see in the label mg we can draw a rectangle box around this animal and we can uh, tell that exact location of the animal is this so this was the exact uh, location this is the exact data which is present in the picture so we can uh, draw a rectangle bone box to select that image so here uh, we want to do for all the images so each uh, each and every image file will generate an XML file for this uh, using that we are training model this is the step 2 so for every image you have to generate so after generating your file actually looks like this for each image you will have a XML file the XML files uh, looks like this uh, with some of the attributes uh, these are the sum of attributes height width and the color depth that respective attributes in this XML file you can see so next is uh, working with the python so first we want to install the didacto package in from python uh, we can simply put a pip3 install didacto it will um, it will uh, install you all the didacto packages so as i t uh, told the didacto is a um, uh, built library inbuilt library which is built on top of pytorch and tensorflow so after uh, building so this is a it it um, it it gives us a very simple code to train the model so this this is the four lines of code to train the model so here you can see first we want to import uh, and next we want to import the data set so data set is nothing but this image is xml files uh, with respect to the image and xml files we have to import it so and we have to uh, create a class for it and we have to train the model so train the model so after training uh, we can test the model so here for testing I have just uh, imported this image it includes the tiger and elephant so after uh, inserting this uh, this code uh, tells that after importing the image what is the result ok so in predictions uh, we are uh, model dot predict as you know that machine learning um, in machine learning that predict dot predict only predicts the actual result so when we put a predict it will uh, gives the this tensors so this tensors actually max matches with the labels and gives us the result ok so in the result you can see that uh, elephant and tiger gets the confidence score is maximum so this tensor tuple is nothing but a confidence score tuple so in this tensor tuple the value greater than 0 0.7 uh, will, uh, will give you the assurity that the image is present in the uh, sorry the animal is present in that image so these are the tensors which is the detected uh, as that my model have predicted that exact location of the images okay so later we can save that model uh, 
with the pth extension file as a pth extension file so this is the process uh, in this i have uh, integrated i have created a ui uh, using python flask now let's see that the documentation page so implementation so this is the exact ui so we want to upload an image which consists of these animals okay i have here you can see this i have pandas so i click and open this and upload in in the actually uh, due to my system configuration it will take some time so yes here you can see we have uploaded the panda image so this is the confidence score presence of tiger is zero and presence of elephant is 25.54 percentage this is due to the color of the panda which is matches with the elephant so it gives us the elephant percentage and presence of pandas 90 percentage as i said this point 0.75 is sufficient to uh, note note that the animal is present in that image okay so in 90 percentage so panda is uh, here so let's try for an another image so here we have elephant image and click on open and upload yeah so we have predicted correctly that the present image is the uh, elephant also the tiger percent is zero and elephant is 91.44 and the panda is 34.85 due to its color okay so that's it from my side and thank you